Hello everyone, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today we're going to play some Joanna because I managed to pick her up after the price drop. I now have 880 gold to my name. I am a little bit poor. Now, Joanna brings the CC. That's the that's the bottom line with Joanna. She brings the CC. Q ability is a slow, W is a grasp, E is a blind, and her trade makes her immune to CC. She doesn't do too much damage, but I'm hoping it's going to be fucking fourth time lucky. As the other three times I've tried to record this video, we've had the most YOLO Kilthasses I've ever seen. Kilthas is on free week while I'm trying to do this. And I don't know what it is. They just. Kilthas apparently is a warrior this week. It's just f first in, last out. Usually, actually, he's usually first out because he gets killed. Um, but there's only so much I can do to save somebody who just runs in regardless of the situation in the 2v5s. Um, Alright, let's see what we're going to do. Oh yeah! We don't have a kill thus on the team. So we have a Nova, Taran, Joanna, Tassadar, Kerrigan. Thank God there's no kill thus. Now I don't like to pin it on one hero, but it, it has... It has been the Kilthasses. Like, <laughs> I know I'm I'm relatively new new to Joanna, but I know how she works. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm happy we haven't got a Kilthas today, and we are on Garden Terror. Um, the enemy team: Sylvanas, Tazda, Asmodan, Kilthas, Malfurion. They don't have a tank. Um, Asmodan, not too much of a worry uh, early game. Ow! I say that we get hit. So, we don't actually have a healer, so I'm not going to take Regeneration Master. I will take Reinforce. Now, every time we use a basic ability with this, we do actually gain a stack of... Holy shit! We don't get a stack of holy shit. We get a stack of um, block. And block will reduce the basic attack damage that we take by half. Now, I will need some help down here. I literally have zero damage, and this is the the biggest damage dealer in the game, Kilthas, along with Asmodan, who does probably the most monumental siege damage in the entire game. Now, I can probably tank all of this. Yes, I can. And we should be able to take out both of them with my CC. Yeah. And we can interrupt. Woo! Oh, it's so good to have a, have an aware team. Oh, my God. It's so good. I don't even think... It doesn't even matter if we win or lose. It doesn't even matter anymore. I'm just happy we haven't got a kill with us. And the team kind of knows what they're doing. So immediately the Kerrigan and Nova know that they should be roaming. And that's absolutely correct. Um, we do have two supports. But they're kind of like semi-supports. Both Tassadar and Taran does a little bit of damage. A little bit of support. So I'm hoping that Kerrigan and Nova will provide the most amount of damage. But uh, hey look, two identical fucking Tassadars. All your CC does not affect me. Okay, so I'm going to quickly back. Might as well. I can't use the well and I'm below half health. Just retreat from there, Tassadar. Please. I do not want any YOLO people. Talent Tia is here. We are going to collect Laws of Hope. Now, Laws of Hope gives us passive health regeneration and we can actually activate it to give us extra health regeneration. There's an asthma down here, really low health, but I guess I should be helping the team a little bit more. So they all do manage to get out very low health. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Look, kill us, guys! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Kerrigan's gonna go down. So we picked different targets there, that was the problem. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So Taran did actually just stay in the top, okay. I I thought oh well, well well okay. Alright, let's reevaluate the situation. So that was a 4v5, right? So I didn't think we did too badly. We did end up losing Kerrigan, but like I say, it was a 4v5. 
So we did pretty well for it being a 4v5, and we are a whole level up. So we're not doing too bad so far. What's the team look? Yeah. Kerrigan was our first death, actually, so we're still in a pretty good situation. Shit. I'm just going to tank this. I'm just going to tank this. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be just tanking this. Maybe we should be... No, okay. So, kind of just... The teams just keep splitting up. And then I single a person out, and then nothing happens, because the team has just split up. Okay, good. We're doing what we should be doing now. Although I'd love to take this kill thass out of the fight. But it's really not happening. No, no, we just need a bit more damage. A bit more damage. A tiny bit more damage. Oh my god. Oh, I was two seconds away from using my shield. So we have a strong comp. We just need to focus and funnel the damage into one place. Whereas we're kind of all attacking random targets at the minute. And diluting the damage. And because we're diluting the damage, that's absolutely perfect for Malfurent to just heal it all up. So we're still ahead. Not too shabby. It's definitely not the best early game we've ever had. But it's certainly not the worst. Get back here, plant! Turning me into a plant. Not very, not that useful. Look, I'm not even in the circle. I'm not even in the circle. And we're going to take the Crusade Marches on next. And this Sylvanas is not getting away. Joanna would be so good with a sprint. So we can do, we've done all of our CC now, and literally all I can do now is just run after him. And there's absolutely zero follow-up. So we could have picked off a kill, Thass, but not gonna fucking happen. This plant has been alive for way too long. Okay, so we managed to pick a couple of people off there. Tarand, what are you doing? Tarand, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god! I have never seen <laughs> such recklessness before. Okay, right, well, we need to go. So we're going to use the D to get out. And we're going to use our W to bring Malfurion back. The Q to slow. And we managed to pick up a killer Malfurion. So I can't even remember if I've told you what uh, Joanna's abilities do. Q ability, frontal cone. It's almost a semicircle, frontal semicircle. Um, that slows and does damage. W ability is that AoE grasp brings everybody towards you and almost, it's a, in effect, it's a stun. And E ability is a frontal long range cone that blinds. So it's a good way to damage for a damage reduction on the enemy team. The Q ability is good for when people are trying to get away, obviously, and the W ability is good for when people are not trying to get away. Unfortunately, Kael'thas is just out of range like a little bitch. And we need to go back and get some seeds. Yeah, Tassadar's got these. Good story, bro. Good story, bro. Okay, so we threw down the heroic, which I haven't mentioned, and it did miss. We did manage to slow everybody, but now we're rooted because we've already used our... I would trait. We used the trait again, and now we're totally out of mana. 
So the heroic ability that I chose is Blessed Shield. It's basically Captain America. You throw it down, it hits people, stuns them, and then ricochets to many other targets. The primary target gets stunned for two seconds. The secondary targets get stunned for one second. Um, team? Team. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm not sure what Tazda. Okay, Tazda's finally arrived. Use the use the plants to get plants. I love this tactic. Unfortunately, that's not what we're doing. Uh, it is worth noting that the heroic that we chose is a skill shot, so it can be missed. And if you miss it, well, tough fucking luck. You've wasted it. Um, the other skill shot is almost like a very slow judgment. Uh, you teleport into the air. Oh, it looks like the friendly team has been caught out there. They should just back up. Uh, you teleport into the air, become immune to all damage. You can target where you land, and when you land, you damage and stun. So that's rather nice. So we should definitely gather all of these, so once that terror dies, we have another terror. Actually, this one's nearly dead. Oh, jammy bastard, jammy bastard, jammy ba- Oh, okay. Nice one. Okay. So you can see how Joanna's abilities chain together to create a long line of CC. So once they've been displaced, they can then be slowed. So actually for this talent, we are going to probably get subdue. Oh, we're five, five seeds away from the extra golem. Well, I'm going to deal with this. Don't know about you lot, but this is a heap of fucking minions. We can't blind all of these minions so they don't damage our minions. So for this talent you can get Burning Rage. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. You could get Hold Your Ground, it increases the shield. And it also reduces the cooldown if it's expired or broken. But I think Subdue would be a better choice. Subdue, instead of the 60% slow that decays over 2 seconds, it's now an 80% slow that decays over 3 seconds. And where the hell did that mercenary go? Did he just lip fly up? I'm going to tap the well for mana. I have been noticing that Joanna does get a little bit mana hungry because her cooldowns are rather low. And I do get a little bit spammy with them. Oh, the 80% slow. The 80% slow isn't enough. We are going to interrupt Kilthas though. Get wrecked, Kilthas. So he was trying to cast his Pyroblast there. Oh, if that combo hit, we could have slowed her by 80%. That would have been lovely. So, yeah, so Kel'Thas did go for the Pyroblast. Um, so because he did, I just managed to hit him with the Blessed Shield, and it just totally interrupted it. And then after it hit Kel'Thas, it bounced to... How many targets? Two other team members, yeah. So I would have interrupted three of them there. Kilthas for two whole seconds. That's a buttload of stun. And the rest of the team members get stunned for a second, which is, you know, a standard amount for a stun, a second. Oh, boys. Oh. Oh, she's actually going to go for that. Okay. I'm going to cut her off around here. Probably not the smartest thing to do, actually. I'm going to retreat now. Oh, if we can pick off this kill, Thas. We have no, we have no team members in the area. So we now are unstoppable. Oh no! Tassadar teleported at the exact moment I used my, uh, my ability. We are going to pop Laws of Hope. And we do manage to take down Tassadar. I can now pop my trait again. And that means the debuff from the tower, from the fort, doesn't affect me. It's absolutely awesome. So because I slowed Tassadar, he wasn't able to run out of the ultimate from Nova. And that's what ultimately got him killed. So basically, as Joanna, you want to set up the kills. 
or finish off people that are extremely low. You can't really duel people too badly. So uh, we haven't really needed health. Um, Kilthas is spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage. I think we've already passed the shield for sp the talent tree for spell damage. Yeah, we have. Um, okay, so for this one then, I guess we will go for Holy Renewal. Yeah, a little bit of a heal. All right then. I was going to get Imposing Presence, but I don't think it'll be too much, uh, too much use in this game. Cool. Has been done wasting the dunk on me. Fair enough. I'm actually just going to stay in this bush. Okay, it doesn't look like the enemies are coming at all, so that'll be fine. So we can't actually blind this, I think, as well. No, we can't. Alright, arbitrary reasons that the golem cannot be stunned, uh, blinded. Okay, so we have an absolute ton of seeds now. I can grab it, or Tassadar's going to grab it, yeah. Tassadar's a good option for getting it. I assume he's getting it. He is. And we also have exactly the amount of seeds needed for another golem. So this is good. So because, let's see what we can interrupt here. We can't interrupt the Wailing Arrow, which I haven't actually seen a Wailing Arrow yet. Sweet! Good job, Nova. Taking him out before a team fight is amazing. Um, Tassadar can't interrupt the Archon. We can stop it from doing things, so really the, the Pyroblast is the target for interruption. Interruption? Is that a word? It sounds like it should be a word. Um, Asmodan can't really interrupt that, so yeah, I think the Fireball's really the target we're going for. Ah! Plant just gets out of range, although... It Although these bitches aren't. Although, you know, Tassadar's Tassadar and he has amazing amounts of shields. He's gonna die anyway. I didn't feel like... I could have used the shield, but I felt like he would die anyway. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, now, careful, Kerrigan. Careful, Kerrigan. Okay, so now I feel like I'm, I'm with a decent team and my Joanna Nuss isn't being uh, wasted. The other teams I've been with, the Joanna-ness has been wasted because the team has been so YOLO. We can actually hit Kael'thas with the shield. I don't think it was it totally necessary and I... Ah! The trait! The trait of Saviour Nurse. This wizard, what is this wizard doing? Piss off. Okay, so we will have another terror, although their terror is going to town on our base. We're going to get indestructible now, so instead of... So when we take fatal damage, instead of dying, we just get a massive shield the size of our health bar. So I'm going to D through Malfurion's roots. And I'm going to keep him slowed, and now I'm going to body block him. So he has now turned his attention into Nova. Never a good idea. So as Joanna, I feel I feel like a shepherd. You're like sh shepherding your team and shepherding your enemies into places that they will die at. And apparently, warrior is my best role. According to Hotslogs, it recently got updated and it now shows you which role you're amazing at and which role you're worst at. So apparently I'm... My best role is warrior and then support and then specialist and then assassin like I always, I always knew that I was a terrible assassin and hot logs has backed that up so if you don't know or if you haven't already you should sign up to hot logs upload a couple of replays and uh, see which one you're best at which leads me on to another question I was thinking about this today when I was playing Sky Temple with a really bad team and I was like you know what Sky Temple even when I win on Sky Temple, I just don't find it as fun as the rest of the maps. So if there was one if there was one map that I wanted to get rid of in this game, it would be Sky Temple. We're actually gonna drop the shield on Asmodan there. Stops him getting away. We do manage to slow Sylvanas here. 
But the enemy, t the friendly team isn't ready to really commit under the tower yet. But as Joanna, you feel a little bit invincible with Joanna because you have this on-demand shield. And there's been a few times I've just been jumping under keeps and forts without really considering the impact. Anyway, so yeah, back to what I was saying. If, if you could remove one map, which map would it be? The same goes for heroes, actually. If you could remove one hero from the game, which hero would it be? Uh, if you've watched my videos for long enough, you'll know exactly which hero I would pick. And if you don't, I'll tell you in the next video. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it looks like this will be GG. And it is. Looks like the Pirate Blast was coming down there onto me. Okay, so there's the scoreboard because I forgot to put it up beforehand. And as you can see, Joanna doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, we were beaten by Tassadar, beat, we were beat by everyone, we were, we were bottom. We got the same amount as Asmodan. That's about it. We did only die once. Kerrigan died five times, though that is kind of Kerrigan. It's just all in, and the only way to get out is with sprint or bolt. So we did get the most amount of team takedowns. Now I say team takedowns because Nova's obviously going to go off by herself and get a couple of solo takedowns. So if you discount a couple of Nova's kills... Um, we were there for 26 of the 28 kills that we got of the team and Nova was there for every single one of them. So I think we had a decent team there for once and that has lifted my morale. Because holy balls, I'm sick of free kill thasses. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I hope to all see you in the next video. Goodbye, Alfie the saying, ciao, au revoir.